Welcome to the Leisure Gamer Network, a home for working professionals, students, parents, or anyone else with a passion for gaming but have constraints on when you can play. We review games after an hour of gameplay to see if they grabbed our attention and are worth your time playing. Deus Ex Human Revolution is the newest highly anticipated title in the Deus Ex saga, published by Square Enix and developed by Eidos Montreal. The game takes place in a bleak alternate future but many years before the events of the first two Deus Ex games. The year is 2027. Huge megacorporations and shadow organizations have taken over much of the political power throughout the world. You play as ex-Detroit SWAT commander Adam Jensen. After leading the police force under questionable circumstances, Adam is now the head of security for Serif Industries, a manufacturer of high-tech augmentations. Adam also has an intimate history with Serif's lead researcher and scientist, Dr. Megan Reed, who championed him for his new position at Serif. Dr. Reed has recently made a major breakthrough in augmentation technology, which he believes will benefit all of mankind. Everyone does not seem to feel the same way, as Serif Industries comes under attack by a mysterious organization, just as Dr. Reed is about to take her discovery public in Washington, D.C. Your valiant defense is not enough as Adam is left broken and bleeding in the burning office building. Luckily, Serif Industries' specialty is state-of-the-art body augmentations. As the intro credits roll, Adam Jensen is rebuilt, better than he was before. Six months later, Adam returns to work much changed. Your new look is quickly put to the test as you are immediately tasked with thwarting another corporate attack. Both Jensen and you as the player must quickly learn to make the most of his new abilities. While these mechanical augmentations are certainly cruder than their nano counterparts in the previous Deus Ex titles, they provide incredible benefits for those able to afford them. Running faster and jumping higher are a few of the more mundane variants. Armor yourself against enemy fire with dermal enhancements, bend light around you to make yourself invisible, or turn enemy defenses against them with interface augmentations to increase your hacking prowess. The hacking system is a fresh change of pace for most other games. Instead of connecting dots or a quick time button mashing fest, you are presented with a virtual network map. You begin at an access point and must capture other nodes to get to the goal terminal. Every time you capture a node, you risk activating the enemy trace program, which amounts to a countdown until the trace reaches your access point and sets off the alarm. It added a fun new minigame in a place where I least expected it. Augmentations provide the main area of customization for your character. As you gain experience for taking down enemies, finding areas off the beaten path, and hacking terminals, you unlock Praxis Points. Praxis Points can also be acquired by finding Praxis Kits hidden throughout the world. The augmentations will help you specialize your character for how you want to play the game. Like gunning down your opponents? Grab some combat augmentations, customize your chosen weapon, and blast your way through missions. Not your style, eh? Snag some stealth augs and explore the many conveniently placed vents throughout the world without firing a shot. Want to be more tech savvy? Access Level up your hacking augmentations and start turning the enemy's cybersecurity on its head. Deus Ex provides much more variety in how you can approach a situation than your average first person shooter. Speaking of your average FPS, Deus Ex looks better than most but is not as graphically impressive as some of the top tier games like Metro 2033 and Crisis 2. Human Revolution has a clear art style in its environments and characters. It has a techno-noir feeling throughout, with a great juxtaposition between the high-tech corporate skyscrapers and the dilapidated city slums. The game has a unique and interesting feel to it. One thing I was not as impressed with were the character models. They felt poorly animated and seemed very doll-like most of the time. The main character Jensen looks a little goofy with his triangular chest and shoulders, combined with his slightly stubby legs and arms. The strength of the overall art style and direction far outweigh these minor gripes, however. Deus Ex also creates a great atmosphere through sound. The music is very ethereal, but also has industrial undertones. It fits perfectly with the mysterious futuristic world that the developers have created. The music is slow and suspenseful during stealth sections, and becomes more energetic and pounding when the bullets start flying. The sound effects are spot on and don't come off canned or poorly done. Also, the voice acting is good, and the dialogue is well written. I know you're kind. I saw it a million times in the Gulf. <laughs> the only thing augmented goons like you care about is gaining the advantage. Just like the cops out there. I'd have to be stupid to do anything you tell me to. Deus Ex Human Revolution has three difficulty levels. Give me a story, give me a challenge, and give me Deus Ex. 
basically easy, medium, and hard, respectively. If you want to play through the intrigue of a well-crafted Deus Ex storyline, choose Give Me a Story and enjoy the ride. Give Me a Challenge strikes a good balance between immersing yourself in the world while still requiring careful planning and execution to accomplish your goals. Give Me Deus Ex will require the utmost precision and strategy to ensure your survival. Spend your practice points wisely because choosing this mode without a clear game plan can be very unforgiving. Combat is a cover-based game of maneuver and shoot. Holding down the cover button causes Jensen to hide behind most objects in the world, and the camera pulls back to a third-person perspective. Using the jump button, you move from cover to cover and around corners. This also comes in handy when you're sneaking through the environments. This system is intuitive and was very easy to pick up. The game autosaves fairly frequently and allows the player to manually save whenever their heart desires. I never felt punished, even when I did get sloppy with saving my game. You won't have to waste much time replaying sections of this game. Deus Ex earns a rating of standard for difficulty. Pick your own level of challenge, and don't worry about losing too much progress if you make a mistake. The controls won't slow you down much either. Deus Ex creates a fantastic atmosphere. While the save system allows you to jump in and out at your whim, I would highly advise against that. The main missions in Deus Ex are fairly lengthy endeavors and will probably take at least an hour depending on your skill and difficulty. Also, exploring the more open world zones between missions can be very time consuming if you like to look in every nook and cranny like I do. Turn down the lights and turn up the speakers and you will have a blast playing as badass Adam Jensen in this engrossing portrait of dystopian techno future. Expect to spend many a late night playing Human Revolution and not regretting a second of it. Okay, maybe when you have to wake up in the morning you won't see it the same way, but you'll do it all over again that night. Human Revolution manages to recapture the spirit of the original Deus Ex. This is a game that allows a lot of freedom for how you want to play. Sure, the game provides you with missions and objectives, but these only serve as the rough framework to guide you through the game. Fail an objective or set off an alarm, and the game will not punish you that much. Just a short game of hide and seek with the guards, or maybe a shootout. When it came to the game, I was much harder on myself than it ever could be. Personally, I found the stealth gameplay highly rewarding and loved making it through rooms without alerting any guards, or even knocking any of them out. This was my personal marker for success. Did the enemies even know I was there? Occasionally I would get spotted or mess up a hacking attempt and the fight would be on. Sometimes I would play it out and tell myself to do better next time. More often I would reload the room and try a different avenue or strategy. Your playstyle and bar for success may very well be different from mine. Maybe you like scanning a room, planning your attack, and then rushing in guns blazing trying to be the last one standing when the smoke clears. Perhaps you want to hack every console, every camera, every turret or robot. Finding every bit of data is your goal. You can even chat your way through some hairy situations for those of you with a silver tongue. The flexibility of the original Deus Ex was its strongest suit. Luckily, Human Revolution has managed to ace the same formula again. Did the game make me want to keep playing? Absolutely. Make some time for Deus Ex and you'll have a blast playing it any way you can think of, and then going back saying, what if I do this? You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. For your own thoughts on the game, post in the comment section below, and remember to subscribe to become part of the Leisure Gamer Network. Till next time, enjoy gaming.